no, no, no. letter Jefferson, during that your is a time. Lie. It's a blue lie, uh, what the uh, commissioner Malema No, but don't say I'm lying. What do you mean no, I'm lying? It's a lie. No, it's don't say lie. I'm lying. That is no, disrespectful. No, to say lying. I'm lying, it's disrespectful. No, it's but if you are going to allow him to say I'm, no, I'm, lying. I'm lying, it's wrong. You see? I'm on a platform he here, and I'm not going to be called a liar here. Chair, take charge of your meeting. Chairperson, take charge of your meeting, please. No insults, please. Yeah, I can't say I'm lying. Honorable Minister, I haven't recognized you. No, you must protect no, me, Chair. I'm raising he a point of order. He cannot just come in and say I'm lying. I'm, I'm raising a point of order. If he's going to degenerate this thing because he's a minister, it's not going to work here. Um, not Mr. with Malema, me. Mr. Malema. It's not going to work with me. Mr. Malema, please make your point. But protect me. He yes. says I'm lying. Protect me. He's insulting me. It's out of order, Chairperson. Commissioner Malema. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chair. Uh, is it a norm for a minister to send people to heads of courts to act like it happened in this case where a minister suggests that uh, J.P. Mulambo must come and act at the constitutional court? Uh, did you say is it a norm? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not a norm. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a first of its own kind. Uh, I don't know if he or any other minister may have uh, uh, done it before, but uh, I, it's certainly not a norm. It didn't come as a shock to you that a minister can go all out to suggest someone to come and act, particularly a person who's even nominated to, for the position of chief justice? Well, I don't think at that time he was nominated, uh, there were nominations, uh, uh, but uh, 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 I did see it as unusual, but, uh, you know, I acted in the manner in which I did. Um, um, on a separate matter, uh, acting CJ, mm. do you have a problem with criticism? No, I don't. Do you uh, find... Oh, a word, house nigger, an insult? I, I consider it an, an insult. It can be because in the historical academic category, this word is used by blacks criticizing other blacks. Malcolm mm. X uses this word. Mm. Steve Biko uses this word mm. when he describes nine whites. Malcolm X says mm. the the, 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 the house niggers actually wants to go and stay in a place like Saldana and be the only one who says, I'm the only black here because mm. he loves his white so much. Mm. Because mm. says black, I mean, house niggers mm. are black people who want to be white, who loves their white and want to destroy everyone who dares to destroy white supremacy. It's a criticism. You can, it can even be an academic criticism. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how she characterizes the black African judges who are sitting there. That they can go all out to destroy those who, who seek to destroy white supremacy with an intention to impress. It's an engagement which has not started now. Well, uh, I, 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 I find even when you explain it like that, uh, Commissioner Malema, I, I, I would find it insulting to me. No, but let me put it to you. Ma Ma Malcolm X says, the modern house Negro loves his master, prepared to pay three times for this house just to stay next to the uh, a white master. Biko says, uh, house Negroes, as a nine white blacks who seek to be white, Yes. Blacks who fight against disruption of white supremacy. That's but, what Biko says. But if, Co if Commissioner, I'm sorry, Acting please, Chief please, Justice. Please, please, please. Commissioner Malema, don't you think that it would be best, perhaps if there's a need to debate this at some other point, because here there's a difference of opinion. Whatever the case might be, as presently advised, if that is not an insult, that is clearly demeaning. And this is the position that is taken by the acting Chief Justice. Mm -hmm. So continuing with the debate has no virtue. It's not going to serve any purpose. You are disagree on this. That's your understanding. 
is his understanding. No, we're not disagreeing. You see, Chair, in this platform, we have persuaded people who have arrived at certain conclusions, and they come to accept that, you see, with the information that you just shared, I now appreciate that the way I was viewing it is different. We always persuaded one another here, and we've never, we've had a lot of people saying, I concede, I buy into that argument. That's what I was trying to do. I mean, I'm trying to say to uh, um, uh, acting CJ, when a person says um, uh, house nigger, and I'm not a house nigger, why should I be bothered? There are a lot of people who say men are trash. I'm not trash, but I'm not going to call any press conference and say we're not going to be insulted here as men that were trash. Commissioner Malema, let me interrupt you once, once again. I will allow you to put your final proposition to him, and whatever answers he gives, that should be the end of the matter. My preposition is that a black African female engaging black African dominantly males and calling them house Negroes is not an insult. It is a, a, a criticism that is always accepted, especially in the academia and amongst Africans who criticize one another. Do you accept that? No, I don't accept that, uh, Commissioner Malema. I think it's very insulting. The last point, it means Malcolm X and Bigo have insulted us. The last point I want to raise is the issue on two and a half year left. To be honest, uh, acting CJ, mm. what is it that you are going to do which you can't do now, which you have not done now? So you see what Judge Maya did when she came here. She gave us, she said, when I came in, these are the commitments I've made. This is what I was able to deliver on. As an acting, I mean, as a CJ, Deputy CJ, I came in, these are the powers I can uh, execute, and this is what I've done. All I hear is what you are going to do, not what you have done. And you have been acting as well. I don't hear you say, this is what I've done, uh, and uh, 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 the, going forward, this is what uh, I, I will do. Because the truth of the matter, acting CJ, is that, and you described it very nicely earlier. You said you are sitting with a CJ in the same office, calling people to come and be chairpersons of a commission which clearly told me that there's a collective leadership between the CJ and the deputy CJ. So why would you want to leave the position of deputy CJ and become a CJ to do with what which you can do as a deputy CJ in the next two years and a half? Thank you, Commissioner Malema. Well, uh, I don't know whether I should say unfortunately or fortunately, but I didn't serve uh, for a long time as DCJ before I was asked to chair the commission. So for a long time, uh, I've spent most of my time in the commission. Uh, so I have not had as much time as I would have had if I had not accepted appointment as chairperson of the commission to get involved in a lot of matters that I would otherwise have been involved in as DCJ. And of course, since I, be I uh, became acting CJ from um, July, everyone knows that uh, I've been doing that while at the same time trying to finish the important work of the commission. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, the, uh, Acting CJ. The, the last point, uh, Chair, I, I'm going to ask that we be provided with the letter uh, of the minister and the letter of the Acting CJ to uh, Judge President Mulambo to ascertain ourselves that indeed the minister did not attempt to interfere with this process after there were nomination of uh, 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 CJs. Because when we asked the uh, JP Mulambo yesterday, he said, indeed it was in December, it was after. And Commissioner, 
commissioner, I almost said commissioner, <laughs> commissioner uh, <laughs> Nochesi said, um, in December we had already defined the process, the roadmap to where we are now. So please, we want to get to the bottom of that matter. Thank you, Commissioner Malema. Uh, mm. I prefer to say nothing on that. Mm. Uh, mm. Honorable Minister, you wanted to yeah. say no, something thank you. earlier. Thank you, Acting uh, President. Um, I have uh, requested the, my staff from the office that they must circulate the letter, uh, yes. um, Acting Chief Justice, that I wrote to you. Yes. And I want to confirm most of the things that you have said. Yes. Thank but you. I, I just want to, to go to section 175.1 of mm -hmm. the Superior Courts Act. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to read it for the benefit of the... Of the Sorry. Of, there's I, no such... I beg you. Oh, of the Constitution. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> there's <laughs> I'm no sorry. such... I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> of the Constitution. I'm sorry, Acting uh, yes. Chief Justice. Mm. Section 1751 of the Constitution says, the president may appoint a woman or a man to serve as an acting deputy chief justice or judge of the Constitutional Court if there is a vacancy in any of those offices. Or if the person holding such an office is absent, it continues, the appointment must be made on the recommendation of the cabinet member responsible for the administration of justice acting with the concurrence of the Chief Justice and an appointment as an acting Deputy Chief Justice must be made from the ranks of the judges who had been appointed to the Constitutional Court in terms of Section 174.4. What is your understanding of this section? Well, uh, it says uh, you, the Minister uh, makes recommendations to the President with the concurrence of the Chief Justice. Section 1752 says, the cabinet member responsible for the administration of justice must appoint acting judges to other courts after consulting the senior judge of the court on which the acting judge will serve. And maybe what is your understanding of this one? Eh? Well, you might have to read that one again because I'm oh. not sure if it's relevant for this question. No, uh, I just want to show the difference. <laughs> yeah, just, just read it again. It's not formulated the same way as the Oh, question. just read it, read it. The cabinet member responsible for the administration of justice must appoint acting judges to other courts after consulting the senior judge of the court on which the acting judge will serve. Hmm. Well, I guess, I guess all you are doing, Minister, is just to highlight what... Uh, the Constitution says, yes. uh, and argument might arise later as to what it means. Yes. Commissioner Malema asked me the question and I clarified yeah. whether he was asking whether it was the norm, I'm and still not, going not whether it was lawful or not, and I said, no, it's not the norm. Yeah, I'm yeah. still going there, uh, yes. exiting, uh, okay. Chief Justice. <laughs> the point I want to bring you in, uh, mm. as you said, when we had the conversation, you did not clearly remember what we were dealing with. Yes. Um, to the best of my collection, what I remember is that um, you, you were now requesting a further uh, extension of appointments of the two JPs. Mm -hmm. I think it was uh, JP Taling and JP Jabi, if I'm not mistaken. Not, not Jabi, maybe DJP Madondo? Yeah, I think uh, uh, DJP Madondo. So I raised the matter to say, um, I mean, there are other JPs. Why don't we also rotate and give them the same opportunity that we have afforded these other JPs? And I think, um, if I remember, that was the discussion that I raised at the time, um, if no, I'm not mistaken. No, no, my recollection is different. I received a letter from you. So it was a letter that I received first that was, as I recall now, saying, uh, in effect, uh, it looks like you, you at the Concord might not be giving uh, judges president opportunities to act. It may have said, and other senior judges, I can't remember. Yeah. But certainly judges president opportunities to act, uh, and that you thought that they should be given opportunities, and you mentioned uh, Judge President Lambo. 
and you said you think that uh, he has the necessary experience and uh, is a, uh, um, has contributed to jurisprudence or something like that. Uh, and then after I had got that letter, I first phoned you. Yes. And we had a discussion. And uh, what I said earlier is what, in effect, I said to you. And I said, I'm going to write to you and uh, basically say the same thing. And when I spoke to you over the phone about it, and I told you that we had previously invited Judge Prism Lambo and he declined, you, you were understanding. Uh, that's my impression that, okay, then, you know, uh, that, that was my understanding. But I, <clears throat> I decided I was going to respond to your letter because uh, it seemed you had a wrong impression about whether we had been giving judges, president opportunities. And in my response, I gave a number of JPs that we had uh, given opportunities before, as well as senior judges. I mentioned uh, the chairperson, for example, even though he may not have been a judge, just to show that we had given senior judges opportunities. So that, that, that's my recollection of how it happened. Yeah, maybe when the letters come, uh, yes, uh, they yes. will remind us. But yes, my sure. collection is that it was prickled by the fact that yes. um, it is to give other GPs an yeah, opportunity. Yeah. But the letters will, will help. Yeah. But I do agree that there was that uh, yes. deliberation. Yes. Will you say that is an anomaly as the minister if I raise an issue to say, but there are other JPs, what is the process and all that? Couldn't we consider them? Well, uh, I think you are linking it to Commissioner Malema's question. He was simply asking whether it's a norm, and I said it's not a norm, which is obviously different from whether it's lawful or not lawful. Oh, is it lawful? No, no, I don't want to, to get involved in, in <laughs> okay. that. No, but that's what fine. I do I, know is that uh, uh, it, it's, it's, not no, it's not normal. It had not happened in my experience, at least. Uh, uh, but... Uh, uh, I think uh, it had not happened to, to me, but we discussed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. Okay, I think, thank you, uh, Minister. It's fair to leave it at that. Yes. Uh, acting uh, judge present, and I, I want to say, let the staff uh, circulate the letter that yes. I wrote. Yes. And and, the, and if they've got mine to you, they can circulate mine as well. Thank but, you. But if not, uh, we will get it from my office. But if they've got mine that came to you, they can circulate that one as well. Thank you. No, Thank I you. can confirm that my collection also is the same with you, that it was before the processes started. Yes, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Acting uh, Chief Justice, before we take a comfort break, I just want, just following on, on this, would it perhaps have lessened or allayed your fears if the letter from the minister had merely said, consider inviting as many JPs as possible and not confine the invitation to, uh, if I may put it that way, to a select few of judges, president, instead of going further and saying, I've got this candidate? Well, in terms of, uh, and one can only answer that question in terms of what the norm is. In term, if, if, if the suggestion was, it looks like you are not uh, giving judges, president, uh, an opportunity, opportunities to come and act, uh, just in general, maybe it might not have meant really anything. But the letter didn't just speak about Judge President Lambo. I think it started by talking in general uh, about Judge's President. Uh, and then the, uh, Judge President Lambo was then mentioned, but it started by, I think, expressing a concern that seemed to relate to Judge's President. Thank you, Acting Chief Justice. I think it would be not, best perhaps not to not Chair. to draw you into yes. what might yes. turn out to be controversial. That yeah. should be a matter that 
as members of this commission, mm. should uh, you know debate in sure. the full in the fullness of time. Yeah. Che, che, can I come in there? Please, I, I don't want us to leave here with an impression that we are going to find in any of the letters a conversation that J.P. Mulambo must be appointed. That's not the letter I was asking. The letter we are asking to confirm if it came before the process or not. But this, the J, acting CJ says, following the letter, they had a conversation with the minister where the minister was very specific on an individual who must be invited to come and act. It's not in the letter. We won't find it in the letter. No, no, so we should take what the acting CJ says as is, because if we're going to debate there, and then the debate says, yeah, in the letter there is no way the way they say Mulambo must act, no, is, then, then the we'll, be, we'll, be, we'll, be conf we'll be conflicted. But I, all I was saying is that I needed the letter to confirm if the letter came before the processes, and then the letter to JP to come and act, if it came before the, the roadmap we had outlined. Because he said the letter came in December, and if it came in December, it was already after we had outlined the roadmap to where we are now. Commissioner Ma Malema, obviously, the letters will be read in conjunction with whatever responses came from the Thank you, Chair. acting Chief Justice. They may will I just not clarify, be seen in isolation. May I just clarify when by, you're by all means, I think, Chief Justice. Yes. I just want, don't want uh, Commissioner Malema or anybody to misunderstand. The, the conversation that I talked about, that I had with the minister, happened after I had received the minister's letter, but before I wrote, I responded in writing to the minister. So before I responded to the minister in writing, I phoned him, we had that conversation. After we had, we had spoken, I then wrote a letter which uh, was saying, no, I can't take, take him, um, uh, and we are giving opportunities to JPs and giving him a list. So I just want to make sure the sequence is not misunderstood. Yes. Thank you, Acting Chief Justice. Uh, uh, Acting CJ, now we've got letters from the administration where a minister writes to you in response to the letter that was written to him by Chief Justice Mukwe Mukweng. And he indicates in this letter that uh, um, Chief Justice Mukwe Mukweng had recommended JP Madondo and uh, Judge Rogers, and um, he makes an argument that you must give other JPs an opportunity to act, and so on and so on. And then later on, he says to you, please uh, put uh, Madondo and Mlambo to act, without giving any reason why you should drop Roger, who was suggested by Chief Justice Mukwe Mukwe. Then you respond to him, and then you indicate that, uh, well, uh, you have received the letter, and uh, you give the background, and you also demonstrate to him that his argument that other JPs are not given an opportunity is neither here nor there, because the following people will give a long list of people who have given an opportunity, including the deputy judge presidents and all of that. And uh, you say that you cannot appoint uh, J.P. Mulambo because it's late mm. in the letter there. Mm. That point has been made. And then from there, what shocks me is that then when you go to a point, you appoint uh, J.P. Mulambo mm. and um, um, I think my, uh, my, and um, Advocate or Judge and Toralta. Yeah, yes, yes. You mm. appoint the two and you have abandoned that argument which you put earlier cogently that this uh, JP has been given an opportunity declined before, mm. but it's not true that JPs are not given an opportunity. Here's a long list. Mm. Um, and it's also late. Mm. 
Then you leave that argument. You go and appoint Untahalta and J.P. Mlambo mm -hmm. uh, and Rogers and Madondo are completely left off. No, they were not left off. Yeah. They acted. Yes. They acted. They this is a separate thing. Yeah. This is what happened. The, the, it's different times. Yes. So uh, DJP Madondo and Judge Rogers acted. Judge Rogers just finished mid-January, actually, acting. Yes. Judge Madondo finished at the end of November, and he had indicated to me that he was not going to be available beyond November. Who, who was that? Judge Madondo. Okay. So <clears throat> I, I probably would have extended his acting appointment just like I extended Judge Rogers' one. But yes. I didn't extend it because he said he was not available for an extension beyond the end of November. But as it turned out, he actually fell ill uh, oh. earlier. Yes. And by the end of November, he was not in court. He was here, he was in hospital, and so on and so on. So they did act. But what, what I had said to the minister, and I must just say immediately that I haven't had a look at my letter to refresh my memory, yes. but based on my recollection, I had refused to appoint uh, Judge Mlambo uh, at a particular time, and for the reasons that I'd given. But my approach was not that I would never appoint him. Uh, my approach was that sometime in the future I can consider him, which is what happened. Yeah. So uh, we are in agreement that it is not illegal for a minister to suggest that so-and-so must act, but it's something unheard of. Well, I said I don't want to say anything whether it's legal or not, but I said it's certainly not something that had happened before, as far as I know. Okay. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't agree with uh, Commissioner Pofu's interpretation. Mm. There was, a vac there was a two vacancies mm. when we exchanged the letters. Mm. Yes. Mm. But what I just want to bring for the benefit of the public is that uh, I think uh, Commissioner Malima had raised that when we exchanged these letters, this process had already started. And mm. these letters clearly demonstrate that it was around June from April that this, this process had not yet started. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Honorable Marima had raised that uh, he wants these letters so that it can demonstrate that when I wrote the letter, mm. the process for the nomination had already started. Mm. Mm. So I'm raising the fact that these letters do clarify that, that this process had not mm. yet started because it mm. was around April, June, when we're exchanging mm. these mm. letters. Mm. Yeah, well, certainly uh, I only got involved from July, but uh, it's, it, it was, yes. it, it was uh, I think it was before the nominations of candidates for, 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 for Chief Justice, yeah, when I received your letter and when I responded to your letter. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, there is uh, the issue of the phone call uh, acting uh, mm. Chief Justice, mm. um, I remember you, you were also not sure. I also did not remember very mm. well. And mm. hence, we had to yeah. remind each other with these yes. letters. Yes. So one of the issues I had raised earlier on was that whereas the issue of the, of the JP's acting mm. was also an issue, mm. when we spoke on the phone, I mm. raised the issue that almost all the, the JP's were afforded an opportunity, as you were stating, to act. Mm. And there is an outstanding JP that is not afforded the same opportunity. Shouldn't you consider this kind of, an, of, a, of, a, of a, him to come also forward? Well, let me repeat. The sequence was as follows. I received your letter before yeah. we had a telephone discussion. So I first received your letter. And before I could respond in writing, I phoned you. Yes, and, I agree. Uh, and uh, uh, part of what I told you at the time was that the particular JP you are talking about has previously been invited to act in the Constitutional Court and he declined. Yes. You know? And, and uh, I remember you even said, 
with your intelligence or something like that. Yeah. I just want to, on that point, that yeah. when we spoke on the phone, mm. and when I wrote you the letter, I was not aware that, of the fact that he had previously declined. I, th I think you. I, I, I think you must aware. be right. I, yes, from I the, became aware when you told me on the phone. Yes, no. From, when I spoke to you on the phone, your reaction suggested to me that you were surprised. You were, it was something you didn't know. Yes. Yeah. No, that's fine. Thank you, acting chairperson. No, no, CJ, acting Thank chair. You, Honor. Acting yes. chair. Please, we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't uh, allow a situation where we use this platform to mislead the public. The letter that the minister wrote to you says here, yeah, having reflected on this matter, I wish to suggest that consideration also be given to judges, president, for appointment as acting judges in the constitutional court. Mm. Now he comes and says, no, uh, the impression I got is that others got opportunity. It's only this one that didn't get an opportunity. Can you mm. give him an opportunity? Mm. When he first generalized it, mm. and then after generalizing it, he zoomed it to an individual. Mm. And then you gave him a coherent mm. uh, response by mm. giving him the list of all those who have acted before mm. and mm. say the, the matter you are raising is incorrect. Mm. But then he uses this generalization to come to this one mm. individual. Mm. Mm. Yes. Not that he was looking for an individual who was isolated from others. Mm. No. Mm. Commissioner Malema, we have got the letters. We can debate uh, the import of those letters at the opportune time. JP Tlalitz. Thank you, Acting uh, President. We do have the letters. We will see the import. Mm. But there appears to be some verbal discussions. Mm. Can I perhaps request the ACJ to read these letters before he leaves, so that if there's anything that he might need to add, emanating from the verbal discussions, it can be corrected or facts must be clear. Rather than when he's here, he's not here, then we come up with interpretation and say this <coughs> is what you could have, uh, you could have meant. Mm -hmm. But let's give him an opportunity to go through these letters because mm -hmm. what is going on is between him and the minister, this and this mm -hmm. and this, and then it was it generated into a dialogue. Mm. Is it, please, uh, that will be my special request. Thank you. Thank you, J. Peter. Uh, Chair, uh, uh, I think if I am to read them uh, and <laughs> look at the time, it would be better if I know exactly what the issue is. Commissioner Malema earlier on said his issue was to determine when it was in relation to the opening of nominations. That's easy to, 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 to check if that is the point. But it depends what other point we are pursuing. Yes, Commissioner Malema. No, my point is that this process of this individual recommended to you mm. started once the process has started. Yeah. And this is what happens, mm. ACJ. Yes. CJ Mukwe Mukwe rise to them. Mm. They don't respond. Mm. They wait for him to go. Mm. Now they know that mm. the CJ is gone. Mm. Their process, you are now acting. Mm. We are going to look for mm. ACJ. Then they start responding to mm. no, no, no. letter acting during that your is a time. Lie. It's a blue mm. lie, uh, what the uh, Commissioner Malema No, but don't say I'm lying. What do you mean no, I'm lying? It's a lie. No, it's don't a say lie. I'm lying. That is no, disrespectful. No, to say lying. I'm lying, it's disrespectful. No, it's but if you are going to allow him to say I'm, no, I'm, lying. I'm lying, it's wrong. You see? I'm on a platform here, yeah, and I'm not going to be called a liar here. Yeah. Chair, take charge of your meeting. Chairperson, take charge of your meeting, please. No insults, please. Yeah, I can't say I'm lying. Honorable Minister, I haven't recognized you. No, you must protect no, me, Chair. I'm raising you a point of order. He cannot just come in and say I'm lying. I'm, I'm raising a point of order. If he's going to degenerate this thing because he's a minister, it's not going to work here. Um, not Mr. with Malema, me. Mr. Malema. It's not going to work with me. Mr. Malema, please make your point. But protect me. He yes. says I'm lying. Protect me. He's insulting me. It's out of order, Chairperson. But he said I'm lying. Out of order is something else. He said I'm lying. He must withdraw that. Yeah, no, I withdraw the lie. It's out of order. Now, uh, ACJ. Mm. It's out of order, Chairperson. Commissioner Malema is still on the floor. 
Yeah, but a, let, a, a let, point of order is, is procedural. Speak. It's allowed in a meeting. It's out of order. It's allowed to raise a point of order. But, but, but the candidate, the acting chief justice, needs clarification on exactly what is it that is required of him so that he directs his focus when he reads those letters to what is in fact at issue. Chair. And that was the point that Commissioner Malema was in the process of explaining. If you have or you want an opportunity to respond to what, whatever Commissioner Malema says, by all means, Okay. Thank you. ACJ, Leno, let me leave this criminality. Let me leave it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Commission what are your thoughts? Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below. You can directly support us and this new series by joining our membership program or fans membership subscription on the button below. Visit our news website weloveafrica.net to stay updated with all the latest African developments and future events. Remember to share, like and leave your comments below.